Hello and welcome to the Yogscast. Today I'm joined by Duncan. How you doing? Hello. So Lewis. I got sent a Gwent beta key. Me too. And uh, I was playing it, and um, basically I came to the office and I found out that you were also playing it. Yes. So I said, Joe, you know what? We should have a show match. So there we picked no five decks each. Okay, and we're doing it like Hearthstone. One, okay, please. so. You, you've got five dif different directions of all the factions. So you've got the full test. So I'm playing the yeah. full test. You're playing the. Scoyatel. Scoyatel. You're playing Northern Realms. Are full you? Full test is this guy's name. Right. Oh, okay. And then yeah. you've got um, the other ones are Skelliger, Nilfgaard, and Monsters. Mm -hmm. So we've made five different decks, um, one of each faction, and you have to win with each of your decks. So as soon as you win with a deck, you can't play it again. Yeah. Um, That's true. Yeah. Sadly. So. Oh, I got one more card to switch and I cannot decide. So my deck is called Full Test plus Girl plus Cow. He's not Full Test, full though. Test You're using boys. the other guy. No, I'm using Full Test, aren't I? No. Oh, am I not? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Well, you can change your hero. We'll, we'll talk a bit about the game like, as we play. Uh, I need to think about what I want to chuck here. Um, let's chuck away... Let's keep all this crap. I didn't didn't use all three of my switches. I'm gonna chuck one I was of these. Worried. Okay, good. Right, so I've got a bunch of random cards. I don't have like optimal stuff at all. Oh, so you've got she's not even the normal hero. No, so I've got uh Eth Ethne. Eth Ethne. Ethne. And you've got uh Hensel. Hensel. He's the he's the default one. He's the basic one. So the way this Gwent works, well, I, you can start, but basically the way it works is you play, you got, you got a deck you build. It could be between twenty-five and forty, I think, cards. Um, you could have four golds in there. Golds are much more powerful. You can have six silvers in there. Uh, There's three of mine. Silvers are much more powerful. You've got Vesemir, Eskel, and Lamba, all the witches, straight yeah. away. Bam. Wow. Strong early presence. So holy shit, we'll talk about this a bit more. But <laughs> I'm gonna just play out uh, one of my silvers. <laughs> so you've played such a strong opening hand that this this card is like I don't, it's like an I don't want to play against you card basically. Mm. Um, holy oh, crap! So you're planning on winning this first round, are you? Oh yeah. Oh jeez. So he got a Regis a legendary higher vampire. What? We remove from the battlefield, <laughs> transfer into Regis higher vampire. Okay. So basically, like there's three rounds. So this is what these little crowns are for. Um, the first round. Uh, you have to win two out of the three rounds. I'm thinking that I right now want to lose this first round due to the fact that this is a pretty epic start on your on your behalf. Wow, this this feels like you played one card. It pulled these two out of your library, yeah. and you now have 25 points of strength on board. They're good, aren't they? And the witches. Um, also, if you use uh, potions on them, they like double the effect. Oh, really? So like oh, a swallow crap. potion gives them like 12. So I don't really even want to like fight against you here, just because it's probably going to be my death. Uh, I suppose I could play something else, but then you might pass. Okay, I'm just gonna pass. So I'm gonna give you this first round straight away. Thank you. <laughs> it feels like it feels like maybe that's a bad strategy, but I feel like I feel like, I feel like this is all about card advantage and a little bit about um, making value. Yeah. So plays. I'm one card behind now. You're a card behind, but that was 24 points of strength ahead. So you won that by a lot. So you won that first round by a lot of points. There's your vampire. You get it back straight away. Your cow. I get my cow turning into a gigantic <laughs> monster. Oh, man. Um, and you get to choose who goes first in this round. Um, what would you like to do? You've decided not to use your ability at all, yeah. and you're just going to take your turn first. Yeah. Okay. So you're, you get a racial skill. Your racial skill is that... Um, I get to pick who goes first. You get to once pick who goes first game. once per game, right? Oh, yeah. so you can pick next round, can you instead? Yeah. So because I've chosen to ignore it, I never have. I don't know how that works. I'm afraid I'm right. not as expert as this as you. But my Show racial skill is um, I get when my guys get converted to gold. So this guy here, right, uh, or this guy. So after two turns, add two strength to each gold unit when it appears on your side. So your racial skill is you get two. Strength and all your golds. Yeah. So I'm going to play my Temerian Temeria. foot soldiers. That actually seemed to buff your guy. Yeah. Growing one strength whenever a revealed unit appears on the opposing side. Yeah. A revealed unit. I.e. not an ambush. Oh, right. What's an ambush? It's like a, a face down card that pops up when it um, like a How thing is met. How many of those? So, but these weren't revealed in my hand. You didn't know they were in my hand. No, but they're revealed now. So right. you, can, you can play cards like face down. Sometimes. No, it's fine. It's fine, Duncan. I'm doing fine. 
Thanks. Show me yeah. Coin or sod off. Jesus, another one. Uh, well, the thing is, I have to win this round. You have to win this so round, So I'm going to yeah. be playing a lot of minions. So I think I should probably just kill this now before it's stuck. Before it gets, no! before it gets, gets bigger. You bastard! So that's just a laser beam that just does seven damage. Uh, you are now playing Rally, which gives you a dwarf defender who has resilience. A resilient unit stays in the battlefield for the next round. Does it stay on the battlefield for two rounds? Uh, this one does, yeah. Okay. It gets it. Um, gain resilience when played at and, start, and at the start and at of start each round. Right, okay. Yeah. So normally it only would get to stay on only one, use, but this one once. gets to stay there. But you it, you would have ideally played him last round, I guess. Yeah, I didn't have him last round. Oh, right. Uh, well, he well, just, just got him through rally. He just then. came out of a rally. Mm. So rally is like, that's like a weather effect. So what you can do is you can play these weather effects, which we haven't seen yet, but when you see them, mm. they basically block out half of the board. It's quite annoying when it happens. Um, right, I'm going to play... I'm going to save this guy for next round. I'm going to play out... Um, I'm assuming there will be a next round. Oh, well, we might. there might not be, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to immediately... I think I'm going to immediately promote these guys, which Whoa! will make them gold. Uh, that, that's my special ability, so that, that gives them plus two um, because of that. But this isn't hugely effective, actually, in terms of... The, that's like six power, but it makes them immune to weather, it makes them hard to target and kill. Mm. Uh, you've got another dwarf with resilience. Jesus Christ. Okay. No, it's fine. I've got a plan. Uh, we're going to play a heavy cavalry. That's going to keep buffing your thing. That's fine. <laughs> uh, let's get another... Let's, let's buff that dwarf. You're going to buff your resilience dwarf. Right, so that dwarf now is going to be even bigger next turn as well. Next round, yeah, if it, if it goes to the next round. Play another heavy cavalry. Okay, I can do that. Uh, let's get one of these out. The the oh, geez. Okay, so that adds three health to all of the guys on that row. My guy, after two turns, converts to gold, so yep. he gets bigger after two turns, which is which is nice. You have a lot of gold on the board. Oh my God. I am now going to play Scorch, no! which will kill the highest health unit on the board. But if there's two of them or more of them, they'll my both men. Run. So that that torched both of your dudes. You've murdered them. Um, I'm going to have to do this. Now is the time. Of what the is that? Ithlin. After one turn, lock oh. all non oh, crap. I did, gold I did it, units I did on the too row. Late. I did it too late. And the opposite row. I wanted to lock your thing before it went gold. But oh, right. Oh, I see. So you were turn. planning to stop it go up to a seven strength. Yeah. Right. So if I play something, it will be locked. What does locked mean? Oh, is it, is it like silenced? Yeah. So it, abilities won't activate. Right. I see. Um... Let me see. So we, I'm, we're equal, actually, at 41-41. You've got three cards. I've got five cards. You haven't used your hero power, but that lets you pull something back off and put it down again. So I guess you're going to use that on your healer to buff this front row again. Or I could use it on Ethanoli. You could use it on Ethan... Eth, 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 or you could use it on Eth, the gold. Ethlin again. Mm. And that will stop something, uh, something triggering. What's my ability? Convert all units on one of your rows to gold. Hmm. Oh, I need to actually play something. You've got five seconds, otherwise you lose a card. Uh, I will... You've got to play! Oh, You've got to play! play. Whoa. That was close. And he got... He got... <laughs> he got locked. He <laughs> does have an ability, but I decided that I would just Oh, I didn't realise I'd lock... I locked... My, I was going to lock my dwarf. Oh. That's interesting. Oh shit, so you lost his resilience. Yeah. Whoops. Whoops! Whoopsies! <laughs> Let's mm. get another rally out. Are you just Everything gonna right. full gamble this? And another rally. Are you just gonna? F are you just gonna full full give me give everything to this? Oh, you are because you're gonna take that Hawker Healer back up and give a massive buff, and I'm probably gonna lose. Um, Hawker Healer, who are you talking about? That's fine. We need to have this. Needs to be three turns, but he's gonna maybe play this to stop it happening. Uh, I don't want to accidentally use this to kill this. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just sharing some <laughs> info here. Uh, right. Let's... Oh, I don't like this. I really want to save these for the last round. I want to save these for the last round. But I'm, am I going to be able to do... I'm not going to be able to do enough, because you could just go all in here. Could do, yeah. Oh, all right, fine. I'm gonna you play stand out. before royal majesty. Oh shit! You've just given me a fifteen. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. I may oh, have messed up slightly. So that what did that do? That played. 
Oh, oh shit. What did that just do? That's a, that's a spy. I didn't realize I put him in the deck. So you played him automatically through another card. So I played him. He's a spy. So yeah. he goes onto your thing but gives me a buff. I Damn it. I think I may have lost this now. Oh, no. Do you know what? I think it's fine. I think it's actually fine. to help one or the other. Oh, Jesus Christ. They're so big. Okay. It's fine. Oh, it's better Trentimer. I'm playing my big dragon. Oh, jeez. Um, but... I think. What's that going to kill? That's just going to kill the spy. Mm. And then the two ten, then the fifteen, and then the two tens. Uh, it kills the no, twice. The twice. In okay, a row. so that's not too bad. So it kills my own spy, oh, no. but oh my god, the buffing is getting out of control on your side. <laughs> really out of control. Um, we're going to play a Redanian elite. Redania. 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 Uh. 123. I don't think I can beat this, honestly. I, respect nothing um, human. I don't think I can beat this. It's 150. That is an incredibly <laughs> high amount. I've got reinforcements. Sorry, this pulls the other two out of my deck, and they become gold. Oh, that's nice. Which is quite cool. Normally, that would be pretty good, but in this case, it's pretty crap. Okay, that torched him and... The other 21, so that'll reduce you down to a score of 105. So you got to get 25, 26 I need to, get, to win. Right. Uh, can I do that? I think I, I maybe can. Really? So I can use this guy to summon field. Oh, crap. So this will either reduce... Hang on a second. So this will... I could either reduce all of your row by two or increase all of my row by two. So that will be three, six, seven, eight times oh, two. You so it will be it. reduced by 16 or Ooh. plus three. So reduce by 16, that would be 13 or increase by 12. So it's actually better to um, give it to you. Uh, so if I give you the bird, that will reduce right. her things down. That will reduce you to 92. And then you're on... Oh, I can't. It's not quite enough. What about your ability? My ability will make uh, sub one thing gold, which will increase it by two. The 90. Oh, that's oh, close. Oh, if I had more silver okay. stuff. <laughs> oh, damn it. Too many golds, Lewis. Shit, so I lost. Okay, so <laughs> that, that would have been... Even if that had gone to the last round, okay... You would have had your resilience stuff. Yeah. That would have stuck I still through. would have had like a 20 on the board. And I would have had nothing. Yeah. So that is that is a de that is a definite win for you. Oh, that was such a close game! Holy shit! I felt like I felt like I didn't have enough combos in that second round. I th that, I, I I gambled on throwing that first round away. Yeah. Okay, so that's one win for you. Okay, so I can't use that deck anymore. You can't. Okay, so we're gonna continue this over on Duncan's channel. If you guys want to tune in, you can watch the next part over there right now, um, and we're gonna see who can win this tournament. See you there. Bye.